Well, our company has been looking at uh, new approaches to treat diseases, but from a chemistry perspective. So we do drug design and drug discovery, and we selected multiple sclerosis as a target and the autoimmune disease cascade because we saw an opportunity to look at this type of project from a molecular perspective. So if we could understand how MS actually works at the molecular level and then develop a targeted approach that would address those specific issues associated with the disease, that could be a new way of, of treating the disease. Well, we've actually been working with Fast Forward now for a couple of years. <clears throat> we started the project, uh, uh, I guess, back in uh, 2005 and began working on this project with some government grant money. And then when we got a relationship with Fast Forward, Fast Forward actually helped to catalyze our efforts to bring a new uh, biological assay system in place that would allow us to generate a key piece of information about the activity of the compounds in a mouse model of, of MS that's used quite often. And this result that we got from this uh, study with Thomas Forstuber at the University of Texas in San Antonio was very critical to showing that our molecule would be efficacious uh, in the disease model. So we've been very pleased with the way that Fast Forward has helped to stimulate that. So what Fast Forward has been doing and, and has been helping us with is actually providing us with a mechanism to get some additional funding to help stimulate those studies as well. Uh, so we've been a partner with Fast Forward in the past and we're hoping to add to that in the next round. Um, financing some of these things has been a real challenge. Provid is a very small company uh, with a dozen people. While we may be very inventive, we just don't have the financial resources to be able to do this on our own. And so in today's investment environment, it's very difficult to uh, identify resources of capital that you would need to carry out these kind of trials. So we're looking for opportunities to become introduced to financial partners and to see whether we can move this molecule forward uh, in development and then hopefully move it toward the clinic. Well, you know, some of the, um, some of the new paradigm in the biotech industry is what's something called virtual companies. And in a virtual company, you have, usually you have a number of people who have expertise in developing a drug and can carry it forward to a certain point. But when you're looking at a drug for a major disease like multiple sclerosis, the cost of doing the clinical trials all the way through to the point where you could commercialize the product and get it into the patient's hands is going to be hundreds of millions of dollars. And so it's very difficult for a small company, even if they have investors, to be able to... Uh, to get that kind of resources available to move it forward. Plus, there's people who are partners, potential partners out there who have done other drugs for multiple sclerosis and have them on the market and know the field extremely well. And so it would be most important for Provid to uh, find such a partner and be able to take our molecule through so we know that it can get to the patient. If we keep dribbling along with a little grant here and there and a small project here and there, it'll take forever. This molecule is ready to go now and what's needed is a, is a way to move it ahead. So either an investor or a partnership at this stage would be wise, I think, from the point of view of getting the molecule in the hands of the patient. One of the things about our uh, interaction with the Fast Forward group is that it's been very simple and very easy. Uh, they are, of course, very visible because of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society's uh, uh, basic, uh, sponsorship or ownership of the organization. But the, the thing is that they are looking for people who have products that could potentially benefit MS patients. And so they're very excited about talking to you about it and bringing, bringing those informa that information forward.